Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and welcome to a very strange video. So I recently moved, and as such, I had to sort through all of my old records and find them a new place to live. The majority of the collection was my dad's. I inherited it after his passing, as we shared a deep love of music together. His favorite artist was Neil Diamond, as is everyone else's dad's. Considered one of the most prolific and talented songwriters of his lifetime, Neil Diamond is known for his unique storytelling. His discography includes songs like Nagelflurg and Porcupine Pie. Porcupine. Pie, porcupine pie, porcupine pie, porcupine pie. Vanilla soup. Even more absurd than his songs are his album covers, and when you see them all in succession, it's wild. So today, I'll be reviewing and ranking Neil Diamond album covers. These are straight from my dad's collection, so I will only be talking about the ones I have, otherwise we would truly be here forever looking at a million different headshots of this man. Recently, I've been thinking about my dad and wanting to find some way to connect with him, and riffing on these silly records is just what I needed. Let's start with Taproop Manuscript from 1970. This one looks relatively normal until you turn it around and see Neil Diamond is stalking you. The spice must flow. What's really great about this is that my dad used to write what year the albums charted on the billboard directly on the cover. He wrote it here and it was obviously too dark to read so he wrote it again in the lightest part of the cover his face. Good job, Dad. 10 out of 10. This is Stones from 1971, in case it wasn't obvious. Ooh, another one that charted. Thanks, Dad. I look at this one and think, Life is like a box of chocolates. You'll never know if you get stones. You see, what you don't know is that this was originally called stoned, but nobody greenlit that, so they were just like, okay, stones. I can't help but look at this fake window and think, you could just jump through it to some slide that maybe you race a penguin in. Kinda boring. 2.5 out of 10. The more I look at this picture, the more baffling it is. He is clearly being eaten alive by an abnormally large jacket. Look at it! Look how fucking huge it is! I'm not even sure if this is a Photoshop. It looks like somebody found a giant leather jacket on the goddamn ground, then photoshopped Neil's face into it. Save me! Honestly, the price tag says it all. 4 out of 10. Moods! Neil Diamond? More like Feel Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly right before he got eaten by the leather jacket, serving grandmother's tablecloth realness. He's looking real upset that someone dressed him like this. It's definitely putting me in some kind of mood, but not a good one. 4 out of 10. Oh, this is a classic. Hey girl, you wanna be my sweet Caroline or my cracklin' Rosie? Hang on, let me just unzip this Neil Diamond costume. Other names for this album include... Hee <laughs> hee! Help, I glued my hand to my head! And... Girl. You'll be a woman soon. Ugh, <laughs> don't like that. I love that there's a sticker for Venture on this one. Remember Venture? R.I.P. Gone too soon. I am also very impressed with the width of Neil Diamond's hair. This side is almost precisely one half of his face. You know how there's this weird standard of beauty that says we're attracted to symmetry? There should be a unit of measurement for how wide your hair is compared to the size of your face. Primitive indeed. 2 out of 10. As you can see, this is the hair prequel to Primitive. We start on this side part and end on this side part. On the way to the sky? More like on the way to clown hair. Let me just take a quick gander at the track list. Love Burns, Save Me, Yesterday's Songs, Guitar Heaven. Is this album about dying? Points for being weirdly dark, 5 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I realize that we can go very dirty on this one, but let's not be obvious. We're better than that. Perhaps he's playing the air saxophone, or holding a large piece of bread, or trying to play guitar with his mouth. Perhaps he just caught a football, or is playing the harp. Maybe he's shocked as he reads the receipt for these $400 beads. Or even holding a copy of his hit album, Primitive. Or many copies. The possibilities are endless with this image, and even though it is clearly the worst, I have no idea who greenlit this. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 because of entertainment value. Otherwise, I would give it a solid 1. I like this one. Lady, oh! 8 out of 10. Don't be distracted by the shininess of this album cover. This image is portraying pure destruction. You see, this is not a microphone. It's a blow dart. Huge Godzilla Neil Diamond is about to take this city down! 7 out of 10. Here we have pensive Neil Diamond doing his best Jim Morrison impression. Let's take a quick look at the track list. Reggae strut. Ah yes, because nothing quite says reggae like this. The album cover is surprisingly boring and it took me too long to figure out that this was a microphone. Uninspired. 3 out of 10. Apparently there was a film based on the novella Jonathan Livingston Siegel. I did not know that and I've never heard any of this shit. But if you're wondering where the Siegel is, He's right there. Oh my god, he's holding the sunglasses he's wearing from the Serenade album! Obviously, he went to the beach to take a small poop, then went back to record Reggae Strut. When you open the album, you get this. 
two Neil Diamonds. If you're offended by chest hair, don't worry. Look over here. Album has a bird on it, so 9 out of 10. Welcome to Night Gallery. Ah, pensive and sepia. Someone really went nuts with the sharpen tool here. Do you see this? I'm glad that this album includes Neil Diamond, but to be fair, it's tough to compete with Miss Babs, which I assume is why her name is listed above his own on his own record. There is a lot of negative space in this picture, so I like to look at it as though Neil Diamond is just wearing the album cover. Like, all of this white part is some weird avant-garde outfit and all you can see is his face. 7 out of 10. Welp, the jacket got me. Wow, I'm impressed. This is a legitimately good photo of Neil Diamond that doesn't look creepy. Even though it looks like somebody's mom took this photo and got their finger in the way, he is finally not directly looking into the camera. Also, I have an admission. I like the song Heartlight. Turn on your heart light. Let it shine wherever you go. 10 out of 10. This is probably the best album in my personal collection. It features some of Neil Diamond's greatest hits, but the neat thing about this album cover is that it features a connect the dots portrait of the man himself. I am showing the version without the lines, and here's what my dad did. <laughs> Upon initial examination, I thought this looked fine, but after some close scrutiny, <laughs> realized he clearly messed up, and that's why his nostril is doing a loop-de-loop -loop and why he has a unibrow. <laughs> he is an abomination. He begs for death. 9 out of 10. One point deducted for the lack of philtrum. This concludes my Neil Diamond album cover review video. I hope you enjoyed it and found these things as bonkers as I did. Even though I mostly joked in this video, I really do have a connection with my dad regarding music, and when I hear Neil Diamond on the radio or see one of his records somewhere, I think about him. M my, my dad, not Neil Diamond. Thank you all for watching this, and if you have any other thoughts, riffs, or even suggestions on other musicians you'd like to see me ridicule, please leave a comment. Until next time, turn on your heart light. Wait, I almost forgot. In the spirit of my dad and dad jokes, I would like to add a little bonus to this video. The best Twitter thread of all time. Rapid fire Neil Diamond puns, let's go. What if Neil Diamond starred in a critically panned 90s superhero film? Steel Diamond! What if Neil Diamond took the place of Justin Timberlake? Beal Diamond! What if Neil Diamond owned a thrift store? Deal Diamond! What if Neil Diamond were a Sith? Neil Diamond? What if Neil Diamond married Heidi Klum? Seal Diamond! Now that's crazy. What if Neil Diamond was in Get Out? Peel Diamond! What if Neil Diamond was a jeweler? Real Diamond. What if Neil Diamond has to cool down slowly after being under extreme heat? A Neil Diamond! I am way too proud of that one. What if Neil Diamond was in a legal comedy with Callista Flockhart? Ally McBeal Diamond! Basketball? Shaquille O'Neal Diamond! What if Neil Diamond was in Deliverance? Squeal Diamond! <laughs> wow, dark. What if Neil Diamond was a delicate cookie on MasterChef? Tweel Diamond! What if Neil Diamond was a baby cow? Veal Diamond! What if Neil Diamond was in The Fast and the Furious? Wheel Diamond! And, my personal favorite, what if Neil Diamond had been in Pink Floyd? Shine on, you crazy Neil Diamond. I'm so glad we got those puns out of our system. Okay, bye! Hey everyone, thanks again for watching my video where I rank Neil Diamond album covers. If you want more content from me, I have a lot on offer on this very channel, but first I want to shamelessly plug my Patreon because I need money to live. If you want to support the channel in a monetary way, consider joining my campaign. Otherwise, please consider leaving a comment. Engagement helps a lot. If you want to see more from me, here are a few suggestions. On the right, I have a short but sweet game review I did on Stray, featuring a very adorable orange tabby cat. On the left, I have the last installment of my flagship series, that time on Murder, She Wrote, featuring a murder. Thank you so much again, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.